This video shows how to create a Google BigQuery v2 connection in Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services Administrator. Before you begin, complete the following tasks. Create a Google Service Account in Google Cloud Platform. Create the private key for the service account in JSON format. The JSON file contains details that we need to create the Google BigQuery v2 connection. Enable the BigQuery API and Google Cloud Storage JSON API for your Google service account. Verify that you have read and write access to the Google BigQuery dataset that contains the source and target tables. First, log in to your Google Cloud Platform account, and we'll show you how to create a service account. In the Google Cloud Console, go to the IAM and Admin Service Accounts page, and select a project. Click Create Service Account and enter a service account name. Click Create, and then click Done. Now you can create private keys for the service account. Here's how. Click the email address for the required service account, and then click the Keys tab. Click Add Key, and then select Create New Key. Select JSON as the key type, and click Create. Download the JSON key file to a secure location. Now we're ready to create a Google BigQuery v2 connection. Let's get started. In Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services, go to the My Services page and open Administrator. Click Connections and create a new connection. First, give it a name and then select Google BigQuery v2 as the connection type and select a runtime environment. Enter the service account ID that connects to Google BigQuery. The service account ID is the client email value in the private key JSON file. Enter the private key for the Google BigQuery account. You can find the private key in the JSON file. Enter the project ID for the Google BigQuery account. You can find the project ID in the JSON file as well. If you read data in staging mode, or if you write data in bulk mode, Enter the directory in Google Cloud Storage where the secure agent creates a local stage file to temporarily store the data. Here you select the connection mode that you want to use to read data from or write data to Google BigQuery. You can select simple, hybrid, or complex connection mode. In this example, we'll select simple. Enter the region name where the Google BigQuery dataset that you want to access resides. If you entered a directory in the storage path field, double check that the bucket name or the bucket name and folder name resides in the region. Select this option if you want to use a legacy SQL to define a custom query that reads data from Google BigQuery. Enter a dataset name for the custom query. Select required if you want to add some custom properties for configuring the source and target. We'll enter a custom property in this example. Now let's test the connection Great, we configured it successfully, so we'll save it. And that's it! You can use the connection in a cloud data integration mapping to read data from or write data to Google BigQuery tables. For more information, see the Google BigQuery Connectors Guide on the Informatica documentation portal, visit our communities and support hubs, or check out our website.